Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. At Video Gospel, we don't want to play games. We don't want to give you a false hope or a false eternal security or an assurance of salvation that's not true. As a matter of fact, what we want to do here at Video Gospel is to present to you the reality of knowing that you don't have to go to hell. But if you don't do something about it, you will literally find yourself in hell. Now I know what you're thinking. Hellfire, brimstone, you've heard it before. And to put it bluntly, no, you haven't. Because most of you will not have listened to a genuine hellfire and brimstone message. You may have seen someone standing on a street corner yelling at people and screaming at them and arguing at them and debating and, you know, doing those things that sometimes you watch on CNN or you've seen it on Facebook where somebody just screams at the top of their lungs, repent, and tells you all kinds of things like that. Well, that's not exactly how you're going to wind up in hell. You see, the bottom line is, Jesus is the one who talked the most about hell. It's not some fiery place. It's not some outer darkness. It is eternal damnation. That's what hell represents. It is the absence of the presence of God in every fiber of your being crying out and burning in such an intensity that without there being some type of input from God, your soul, your spirit, and every part of your being will burn as if by fire because you are clinging to the hope and the desire that maybe God will change his mind. You'll be having, as it were, sensory deprivation. In this case, spiritual sensory deprivation. You see, you were created in the image of God. So without there being a part of God's essence, a part of God's being in you, you would not have an existence unless you were placed in some kind of eternal torment, some kind of place that God could separate himself from in some way. I think the agony that we have not ever discussed at Video Gospel is how much it hurts God to see you go to hell. If you really want to pay God back for something, then go to hell. Because I have a perception, I have a thought process that makes me consider that possibly God feels, even though his greater glory is oh so much more so in another area, I do believe that God somehow feels your eternal punishment, your eternal damnation, feels your eternal suffering in hell. Now, that's a personal opinion. Frankly, I know God loves you so much that he was willing to as it were, separate himself from his only begotten son. That God the Father, and not being able to have sin exist in the same place where he is, separated himself from God the Son. How that happens, why that happens, I understand, sort of. But the majority of what is true about God as far as he being a being and don't give me the Yahshua, Yahweh, Yahweh, Yah, 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 Yahs. We don't know that God has a name. God didn't say he had a name. He never said it was a name. He simply said, when Moses asked, I don't have a name. Then who shall I say send me? He was saying an expression, not his name. So the point being is that people have really ruined God in some ways by limiting him as far as what he is as a being is concerned. The same thing is true about trying to make it a Trinitarian doctrine as opposed to being what God has said about himself. Frankly, God is God. That's the point. God didn't say, I'll explain it to you. He never said he would. Jesus said, you don't know and you don't understand. But the best that you can understand is if you have seen me, you have seen the Father. Well, that didn't really explain anything for me, and it doesn't do a lot of good for you. So, let's just throw away our preconceived notions about Trinitarian, because I do believe that God is God as he is said. 
He is God the Father. He is God the Son. He is God the Spirit. What we have done in saying, well, he's a separate personality and he's omnipotent, omniscient, and omnipotent, We've added words to the Bible that I'd prefer not to add things or to interpret things. I'd rather let them speak for themselves because when I let God speak, whoa, I'm left speechless, I'm left breathless, I'm left in awe, and I am standing there so amazed that I can't move, I can't speak, I can only see and experience without any kind of vocalization at all, the reality of God as He is in His being. It literally causes me to come undone. And I don't know if you can understand God the Father that way, that I've experienced, which wasn't going to heaven, so don't think that I'm going to support some of these guys' idea about Somehow this sugar daddy that's sitting in heaven is going to produce a fairy tale land for you to go meet your loved ones. That's not God and that's not heaven. Don't get me wrong. You might, might, if God so desires and allows you to meet your loved ones in the millennial kingdom that Jesus will rule and reign over in Jerusalem as a thousand years will take place on earth of peace. I don't know. I don't want to go there, but, you know, if God sends me there, well, hey, you know, maybe I'll see some people along the way. But dare I say, a lot of the false ideas about heaven and false ideas about God make God lesser so that you feel like you can negotiate, so that you feel like you can separate yourself from, oh, well, you know, since they can't get God right, Let's just pretend that hell is an invention of man also. That's not what God said. God, when he reveals himself to you, leaves no uncertainty at all behind. I personally care enough to tell you and dare enough to share with you the facts and the truth that yes, if you are a non-Christian and in some ways you have come to a conclusion that you don't believe a majority of some of the religious jargon, some of the religious ideas that church, Christians, popular beliefs have put out there, I'm fine with that. Hey, I have a lot of problems with a lot of theology that's out there. So much so that I took a look at systematic theology and said, that's not accurate. They started with a false premise and they came up with the wrong conclusion. Systematic theology is producing a system of examination of God and trying to understand Him from man's perspective. I reversed that and said, no, I don't want systematic theology. Pure theology would be one thing, but even that wouldn't be so pure because then it would still be the study of God. Rather, I said that in my understanding, I'm going with integral specificity. That God reveals Himself as He is the way He is, such as He is, and that's all there is, bluntly. Now, that's a limerick and an acronym I use in order to explain the, tec the, the technical integral specificities of God as he reveals himself through the word, because, frankly, you don't want to deal with the integral specificities of in <laughs> integral specificities of the specific Integrity of the integral specificity of God. There we go. Boy, it took me a while to, you know, change my vocabulary from simple to depthual to deep calls to deep and go, whoa! Because the greater you think of God, the better off you are. And the more likely you're going to discover for yourself, whether in or out of church, who God is. But if you limit God in some way, I'm sorry to say, you probably aren't going to find God today tomorrow or the next day. You're going to go to hell. Now, I don't want you to go there. I don't want you to be there. I don't want you to ever exist there. But frankly, if you want to go there, then go to hell. Because that is what's going to happen in the next few years. People are making a determination that God is going to harden their heart and they are going to wind up in the place where they simply, at one time, flippantly said, fine, I'll go party with my friends. Well, you will in the Great Tribulation. 
when God is revealing himself and pours out his wrath upon the earth, you'll party with your friends and you'll wind up in hell alone. You see, that's not one of the things that you are assured of, is to see other people, to know other people, or to experience anything else except torment. And that's all it says. Because it wasn't created for you, it wasn't meant for you, and you are not supposed to be there. But what you were meant to be, what you are created to be, and how you should be, is following after the best you know how, Jesus. Now, I don't care where you go, what you do, or how you do it. You get to know Jesus, and you'll be saved. I'm not going to say you're saved now. I'm not going to tell you that everyone in church is saved. I'm not going to tell you to go to a church to get saved. I'm going to tell you what you need to do is find out what Jesus said and do it. If he said, follow me, then you follow him. If he says, go out and make disciples, you go out and make disciples. You figure out, because in the soon coming days, years that are left to us, which are very few, starting in 2017 through probably 2022, possibly 2034, are the latest, greatest days that could possibly happen for the soon return of Jesus. He is coming again, probably for some in a rapture, probably for the majority. They will not even believe that the rapture happened because there will be so few, and it won't be some rapture disaster that happens when he does take his bride away. Now, those that remain either will be too embarrassed or, as God has said, there would be a delusion that even the very elect might believe a lie. So, frankly, don't go thinking that you're going to remember the rapture as some way of being saved. You aren't. The only way you'll be saved in the Great Tribulation is by crying out to God. Even as it is said in the beginning, it'll be said in the end, Come unto me, God has said to you. God has spoken. God means it. God's not kidding. God's not fooling around. He's greater than you are. He's bigger than you are. He's smarter than you are. And frankly, he created you. So if you want to fulfill your destiny, then you need to get in touch with the creator of the universe. If you want to know and be saved, you need to talk to Jesus about it. Because without Jesus saying you're saved, I got news for you. You're not. 